Hey everyone, it's Vickerman with Age of Wonders 3, The Eternal Lords. And last time we actually earned this Empire quest that I did not see. Be the first to acquire seven cities, which... Because we earned that, it means that we are the largest empire yet of any of the AI, including the ones that we have not discovered. So that's encouraging. Because I thought perhaps I was maybe a little bit behind. Now for us being a necromancer, instead of happiness, we get plus 5% income. So you can see that my income has increased by quite a lot. Quite a lot indeed. So this city here needs something to do. We are going to give them a Cathedral of Bones, I think. Because why not? They can't build any, uh, any good military units just yet. So we will do... Let's build a basilica so that we are prepared for when we... Oh, I should have saved a little more gold. Uh, I guess I could do a builder's hall here. I can't remember what I was saying. Okay, so these guys will wait. Uh, I was going to say, let's build the Basilica so that when we get the Deathbringer research, we can start building them. And that would be my Tier 4 unit. So, a Reanimator and a Bone Collector are a pretty good pair. They'll be kind of a core to an army. And we'll need to start building some other units as well. Uh, what do we got here? Long swordmen. They're all tier one units. Well, I guess the priest is tier two, because I think I don't think there are any tier one support units anywhere. So yeah, we may. Oh, we should do fine, because you know we have a hero. So we will try to liberate that in. Get. Uh, I guess that doesn't help us any, really, does it? Oh well, get a little experience. Maybe level up some of those goblin units. Let's do just a bit of scouting to see what's over this way. It looks like another exit from the underground. And that... appears to be a nice spot for a city. So, doesn't look like we've produced our our fella yet, our uh, prospector. Oh wait, somebody here has digging? Do you have tunneling? Oh, that's cool. So that trait gives you double the gold. Quite strong. Uh, we've got a wandering unit of assassins, scoundrels. They will probably attack us. But that army should be totally fine. Totally fine indeed. Okay, we need to watch out. Because those Wraith Kings are going around here. Bulmore has won a battle. Okay. Domain Invasion at Swa. Is that the uh, Wraith King guys? Yes, it must have been because they just came on through. Alright, we get we got another race governance level. All t Tigran support units get Invigorate, uh, which I'm not sure what that is. Restores all action and movement points of the target Tigran unit. That can be very strong. Temples in Tigran cities now generate plus 100 ghouls. 
give an extra metal to all produced units. Both of these are very good, but I think maybe this is the best. Oh, man. These are some good racial bonuses, let me tell you. Okay, so. Still behind in cash. I think that's always going to be our problem. So we'll just keep some of these towns on merchandise for as long as it takes. And keep keep chilling. And I want you to wait there as well. Starting to get some units out of there. All right, we got a Sphinx. That will be a great addition to one of these teams. Okay, continue your movement. Let's see what's up here. So I wonder if uh, Balmor killed those scoundrels that we would saw. All right, so we can take this unit. Uh, they're very weak. There's really no point in doing that fight. And we won. Uh, no rewards this time. Yep, there he is. Dwarf Firstborn. Those guys are pretty scary. Uh, looks like a neutral city here. It's worth checking out. Uh, the Village of Roth. Goblin, pure evil, and they are at war with us. However, they're very weak. We can pop in there and take them out pretty easily with this army that we have there. It would be nice to be able to take that. Maybe we would need to produce another ship. And we'll have these units wait here until we can get more for them to kind of make pretty strong balanced armies. But they will be the core of that. Uh, where are those guys at? Night of the Living Dead. Seems good. All undead units gain the raised corpse ability. That's cool. Very likely victory. Uh, might as well auto combat that one. Fair enough. Let's head back to our town. Whoa, there's the wraiths. Enemy of the faith. Your units gain devout. Slayer and Support Slayer. That would be very nice if I found a uh, Theocrat opponent. We could just annihilate them. But I think the next step for us is going to be the Death... Oh, the Deathbringer is Tier 3 as well. Well, I thought it was Tier 4, but that's okay. I don't even know what it does, so we'll find out. Uh... Theocrat guy. A 
All units gain holy champion. That would be ironic. Shouldn't get that. No point. Convert. That seems nice. I think we'll do convert. Seems useful. All right, our production here. Uh, we did inherit a few uh, things here, so that's nice. So I think an M Balmer skill may be the next thing to do. And then a war hall. And an arena. With the idea of getting dwarven infantry. Because they're pretty strong. Okay, so this city. What do you do next? I would like for you build me an observatory if you would. And we are going to pump in here and kill these guys. Take this city over. Cuz why not? What kind of city is it? It's goblin. There's really no reason why not, because they, uh, they're already at war with me. Extremely weak, so we'll do it. And they are Goblin City. Uh, that will give us minus 100 alignment. Which might be what we need to do. Okay, so we're at 50. Uh, that will not affect anything at all. Let's just do this. Okay, so what do we got here? Phantasm Wizard or Warrior. Uh, let's get a little more evil and here we've got boar rider deep guard deep guard flow rock quarry I think that is for machine units yep which we will not have much use for. I guess siege engines that you can get are uh... okay that's rock we can't mine through the rock walls at least maybe there's a boost for that so yeah we can take all these kind of things and get some cash which is awesome where do these guys come from I guess maybe from the auto combat it's very strange. Wow. 
Okay, we'll head back for the moment. Should probably put a dream team together to take on this thing. Because that would help us out quite a bit. So I'm thinking the leader, the two phoenixes. And one of these guys and her. So let's take the Banshee out, I think. Okay, I think this group will do pretty well. We'll see what happens. Main invasion at Farak. More of these guys. Who is this? A level 5 sorcerer. Cool. Is this plus nine? We shall harvest the underground for our own nefarious, well, more just gray purposes. We should beat them. Just try not to engage with the ship that is taking a lot of damage already. It would be good. Alright, good. They're not just defending. Kind of annoying when they do. Fire that cannon. Fire that cannon. That'll hit them both. That's great. And uh, you can fire the ballista. Take that one down. Pull on over here. Oh, yes. Ah. So hard to keep them from doing stuff like that, I think. Alrighty. That will give us plus 20 production in the city, and we get this stuff. The unit gains plus 2 bonus against non-flanking attacks. And then guard breaker. Melee attacks from this unit will stop targets from guarding. Cool, cool, cool. Now we need to send this stuff away. Uh, I'm not sure who has weapons or not. I'm thinking maybe he probably does not, um, and I'm going to send this 
to the warrior type. But we'll see, they may not need it. In which case, we'll just send it to someone else. It's not a big deal. Yeah, unfortunately you're gonna die, my friend, so we may as well bring you over here. Very likely victory. Auto combat that. They killed our uh, guys, but we got two more. Hey, why not? So this is a farm. When we expand, we're going to want to cast that spell on it. That we have not researched yet, and we did not get, even though it was really not very costly because we had no use for it. All right, let's see what the matchup is gonna be. Closely matched here. We've got Dread Reaper. Whoa. Invoke death. Undead units are not affected. Uh, and undead units are not affected again. Vampire Spider Baby, A Lost Soul, Banshee, Obsidian Wyvern, and Curses All Units on the Battlefield, Curse Units Suffer, minus 300 morale, minus 2 defense, and minus 2. Oh, Undead are unaffected. Great. Uh, I suspect we will do okay. All right, they defended. Probably quite wise. And they just really have one super strong unit and the rest are not that tough, really. We have an advantage because our units, a lot of them are veterans. And we have this unit, who's very strong. Very strong indeed. We don't, we don't want her to die, so let's try to keep things... Oh, and control undead. Let's arrange on this. Probably melee then. Okay, we are not gonna go into too much trouble. Uh, okay, wait. Could attempt to banish one of their units, that would be useful. Uh, Dark Gift. I thought that I got it on him, but maybe not. So that'd be 50. But it gives everybody plus two. That's probably a good idea. Let's do that. I don't think the curse will help anything. Because they are undead, I don't think they're going to be affected by it. So we'll just wait. Now they are waiting for us to come through.
Kind of risky here, but... Gotta do what we gotta do. Okay, we can't affect them. That's good. May as well use this then. Otherwise, his casting power is not really going to be much use. Ah. Oh, man. This thing is terrifying. But I suspect a lot of his abilities are dependent on us not being undead. So that's good. Uh, doesn't he have some sort of... No? That works. Yeah, these guys are going to be able to do pretty well without get, taking too much damage. Ooh, inflicted bleeding. Should have had him go first. Seems good. Alrighty, this does not seem good. Let's go ahead and give him stone skin. Um, at least, well, I guess you don't inflict any physical damage, do you? Okay, the Banshee jumped behind me, which really didn't help at all. Fire and spirit resistance, or er, weakness. Sorry. Gonna take quite a bit of damage, but that'll be okay. Uh, no line of sight there. Well, 
we may as well. We can now throw our thingy. And that's it! Didn't seem very closely matched to me. <laughs> Domain of Corruption. Target friendly city and all units stationed within. Now, like blighted terrain, machine undead and creatures of magical origin are not affected. I don't need that, really. Let's sell it for the gold. Alright, plus 30 mana per turn. That's good stuff. We should start casting some spells. Well, we are uh, out of time, it seems, but we're doing pretty well. We have gone from one to now three cities in the underground in just two episodes. And yeah, things are looking good, I think. So we'll see you in the next episode as we continue to press our advantage. And look at this. We may fight them. Because if we can keep them away from the ships, we should be able to, uh, to actually do some damage to them and kill them. That's something to look forward to in the next episode. We'll see you then.